The House overwhelmingly passed a standalone bill to provide $1 billion in funding for Israel's Iron Dome, the Jewish state's air defense system used to shoot down Hamas rockets. With only nine House members, including eight far-left Democrats, uh, they voted against financing the system. The bill passed by a margin of 411 votes. Shortly after casting her vote of present, New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez appeared to weep, an image that is being roundly mocked by supporters of the popular bill. David Foon is the editor-in-chief at the Algaminer. He joins me to shed some light on the topic. David, good to see you. Always a pleasure, Buck. So just can we start with, so, so everyone knows you're the proper uh, context for our discussion. What is, this, what is the situation of the Iron Dome? Why is it critical and why is the U.S. involved in funding it? Well, the Iron Dome is a very, very sophisticated and advanced missile defense system. And the reason why it's so crucial for Israel and why the U.S. was a part of funding it was because certain territorial concessions that Israel made with the U.S. encouragement, like pulling out from the Gaza Strip and pulling out from southern Lebanon, for example, have created a scenario where terror groups have set up camp on Israel's borders. And what they do is from time to time build these massive missile arsenals and get increasingly becoming much more advanced missile arsenals. And from time to time, they'll instigate, you know, a, a, a rocket assault on Israel's population. It happened in the south, it happens in the north, and there's concern that it can happen in other places as well. What the Iron Dome missile defense system does is it makes sure that as few of those missiles as possible kill and hit civilian population centers, kill innocent civilians in Israel. And that allows Israel to have a certain degree of strategic patience when it comes to dealing with terrorists, which is not always a good thing. But most importantly, it saves lives. It is purely a defensive technology. There is nothing at all whatsoever about it that is offensive. Now, Rashida Tlaib is obviously very upset with this. Uh, here, here's what she had to say about Iron Dome funding for Israel. I rise in opposition to this supplemental. I will not support an effort to enable and support war crimes, human rights abuses, and violence. We cannot ta be talking only about Israelis' need for safety at a time when Palestinians are living under a violent apartheid system and are dying from what Human Rights Watch has said are war crimes. I just I want to let you res respond to the member of Congress, David. Look, the 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 height the height of hypocrisy and falsehood there is just unfathomable that we'd see something like that in the halls of the United States Congress. I mean, she positions herself as some kind of humanitarian. Let me tell you something about these rockets, okay? They kill children. Okay, I want to read you something from earlier this year that a father said at the funeral of his five-year-old child that was killed by one of these rockets. He said, Ido, Ido, Ido Avigal was the name of this young child, the face of innocence. He says, Ido, I want to apologize to you. I'm sorry I didn't protect you. I'm sorry I wasn't hit by shrapnel in your place. The other day you said to me, Dad, what will happen if there's a red alert siren and we're outside? I told you that as long as you're with me, you will be protected. I lied, right? Now to come out in opposition, to a technology that is aimed to save the lives of innocent children like this. She is a monster, a monster, Rashida Tlaib. There is absolutely no justification for taking that insanely, fully immoral position. And 411 members of Congress agree. I don't know how she gets by in this country. She's an embarrassment to the United States.